How is everybody keeping? Uh, welcome to the live stream. In today's stream, I'm going to be turning pieces of oak like this fella back here, if I can reach him. Fellas like this. It's a big long oak pegs like this. Now this is an obscenely long peg. We're going to be shortening that down sooner or later. Um, but for now, we need to cut them. And yeah, it's a process like this that will really make you appreciate just how much waste goes into um, everything we make out of wood. I was talking to a fella who cuts down and mills up um, trees into lumber recently, and he was saying that about 50% um, of the wood in a tree uh, <clears throat> gets turned into usable lumber. And then like of that, it's, uh, it depends on the carpenter how much gets actually turned into the finished product. Like look how much waste we're taking off here. Got viewers from Georgia, all over the world. I suppose it's fairly early for you there, is it? It's about, I don't know what time it is here actually, I suppose it's about one o'clock. From Pittsburgh, where is that now? If I haven't viewers, please boost visibility. What does that mean? We've got plenty of viewers, I think there's 86 of us here now. Oh yeah, I think uh, I posted two videos about the pegs and uh, yeah, a load of people being like, oh, this is what my wife meant when she said, let's go pegging tonight or something. You always get that though. Um, I had a Tinder account there one time and uh, the most common um, opener women would start with was um, some variation of uh, well would you look who it is um, I guess I wonder is there a, is there a word for the phenomenon where phenomena um, where people just make the same joke as each other without knowing it because obviously they would make the joke if they knew they were one of many people making it that would be just embarrassing Say that again about the, there was a thumb emoji or something. How do we keep that chat up for a bit longer? There we go. Stuff that's good for the brain. I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos about machining lately. I'd love to buy a, a lathe, a good proper lathe. Um, to turn a few parts or whatever, but um, I've no room for it. So that'll have to wait a few years. Maybe I could get into really old-fashioned um, machining, James Watt spec stuff. Before the before they had any steam engines to power their lathes, everything had to be done by a foot-powered lathe. I suppose they might have had water and wind-powered lathe, but um, lathe or lathes? Is there a plural word for lathe? I wonder. Um, but yeah, that'd be interesting to do. Building a steam engine using only primitive technologies. Hello Chloe, how are you keeping? From Louisiana, it's A45. You're getting your Sunday off to a good start anyway. Going on YouTube lives. I'm telling you lads, I, since I started re-uploading shorts about four or five days ago, the channel has just taken off again. And I'm, I'm loving it to see. 
Um, the other news I found out, I was waiting to upload the shorts again until YouTube um, started monetizing them. And I was like, oh, class. Uh, I remember one month I got like 30 million views on my live stream. I was like, can you imagine the money I would have made? Um, so I turned on monetization there anyway at the start of February. Um, any guesses as to how much uh, YouTube pays per thousand views on YouTube Shorts? Not that I'm complaining. Um, it's just lower than you might expect. I'll give, you, I'll give you a minute or two to guess and then we'll see if anyone gets it right. And then, um, then I'll tell you. Come to, uh, yeah, I'd love to get over to America at some point, but um, I, I wouldn't be able to unless I knew it would pay for itself. Someone guesses 25 cents, someone guesses 10 cents per 1,000 views. This is, someone guesses 0. 0.2 cents. I think they might be the closest. Hey, someone's got it. Um, that's right, 2 cents per 1,000 views, would you believe? So that means you gotta get 20,000 views, I think, to make a, um, not even, my maths are wrong there now. You have to be doing a lot of views to get any money. Ah, uh, this is oak. Did I put it in the title? Um, uh, making oak pigs. Wood is this? Uh, oak is a very durable wood. This has been left outside in the rain for a number of years in the very damp Irish conditions and this is just, it's, it's grand like it's fine. It's still totally usable. You can see at the ends they were kind of starting to rot a bit because the end grain was kind of more exposed. It lets the elements in a lot easier. But if you go down an inch or two, it's perfectly fine again. Beautiful. Yeah, they are like dowels. Um, I suppose you could use, yeah, they're very similar. I forgot how um, straining this was on the wrist. Am I doing anything in the city for St. Bridget's Day? Uh, no, I'm getting ready for, um, I have to clean out this garage here because I have um, I have sponsors visiting for to record a video on Tuesday and I have to have the place looking stick and span so everything runs smoothly. I, uh, I drove a tractor for the first time this morning. Um, I was visiting my future landlords and um, they had a Massey Ferguson 35 parked up in a shed and um, 
I was admiring it. And he asked me, did I want to go off it? I told him I'd never driven a tractor before, but it was fairly straightforward. Um, he just showed me where, you know, the clutch, the brake, the accelerator, and the gear stick was, and the way I went. Um, but, uh, all was going well until I had to put it back into the shed then, and I hit the trailer off, um, it wasn't even a trailer, it was like a rear loader kind of thing. And I hit it off the rubble wall on the way in, and I took a chunk out of it, but, uh, he said it was fine, a bit of mortar would fix it up. Yeah, pegs are like short dowels. I have a, I have a YouTube short video that I uploaded today talking about them actually. Yeah, if you want to see everything I'm doing on this live stream done in one minute, watch my, uh, watch my shorts. Or you know, stick around um, and watch it afterwards. The shorts aren't going anywhere. This live stream will be a one-time thing. As well what I'm doing is grabbing the vernier calipers here and making sure I'm not going too thin in any direction so I've set this set to 22 millimeters and I yeah if I go any thinner than that I'm in trouble <clears throat> yeah, I get that question a lot. How is my name pronounced? Um, Owen, e O win, like kind of O and win. How do I get the blade so sharp? Um, it's it's different to how you sharpen a chisel. If you had a chisel, you'd kind of just um, I don't have a chisel nearby. Imagine this is a chisel and um, my hand is a sharpening stone. You just kind of rub the chisel up and down the length of the sharpening stone until it's sharp and then you do your secondary bevel and you strap it, so away you go. With a big massive thing like that, if you try rub it up and down your sharpening stone, you're not gonna get the same angle the whole way along. So what you do is you get your, your sharpening stone and you kind of rub it along the length of the blade. Um, yeah, it's, Sharpen your tools, it'll always be worthwhile. It's like that, um, supposedly Abraham Lincoln said, if you gave me six hours to cut down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. Um, don't know how true that is, but um, yeah, he's cold with it anyway. Probably some random lumberjack there now got his coat stolen. That could have been his one claim to fame, but not nah. Abraham Lincoln. I think um, there was a mallet that Abraham Lincoln made when he was a young fella. Um, and I think it sold an auction there for mad money not so long ago. Wouldn't that be cool, having Abraham Lincoln's mallet? He even carved his initials into it and everything, so there was no doubt that it was in fact Abe the Babe's mallet. When he was a young feller, <laughs> very good. So he must have been into his woodworking, Abraham. It's very difficult. No, actually, it's um, surprisingly easy to make the joint in a mallet. Um, I don't have anyone, actually I do have one at hand, uh, arms length away from me. There we have it now, this is the most recent mallet I made. Um, this was another mallet I made a while back, but this fella is a lot easier. I have a tutorial on this YouTube channel where I talk about it, and uh, we can knock them apart there now. There must have been some change in moisture, this fella normally comes off fairly loose. There we go. 
Um, so you get your piece of hardwood. Oh god, that's after getting damaged. Uh, anyway, this is an old piece of beach. I took off an old um, a vice, a leg vice I got somewhere that was no longer in use. So I cut out a nice piece of beach off it. Made an ash handle. So you can see the ash handle has a bit of a taper to it. Whereas the actual head itself is just kind of a, a tapered mortise and tenon. It's wider on top than it is on the bottom. So you just drop it into place. You can use even use like a workbench or something to help drive it home, or even just like an actual another hammer. And uh, that friction should keep that handle on as long as you ever need it. And if you ever need to fold it away for whatever reason, you can take it apart. But for the most part, I leave this as it is. Where I put my peg? There she is now. I think it's time to upgrade to the spoke shave. Or was I already on the spoke shave? I can't remember. <laughs> you didn't know the guy had lives. Well, there you go. The guy does have lives. Favorite wood to work with. I'm loving working with this oak at the minute. It's, um, it's not bone dry, so it's easier to work with, even though by right pegs should be bone dry. But the main thing is it's um, very straight grain, so it's not giving me any trouble in the way of tear on. Well, a small bit of trouble, but not as much as most woods do. We're getting there. Um, yeah, Japanese carpentry is on a whole other level. It's like, um, even the philosophy behind it is different from Western carpentry. It's almost like they work with the wood, whereas in Western carpentry we... We force the wood to do what we want it to, if you know what I mean. Plus the, the tools that come out of Japan are something else, like the hardness of the steel in their planes and chisels. Wowzer, it's incredible. I need to get myself um, a set of Japanese chisels at some point. I have, um, I have a handy enough sponsorship coming in on um, Tuesday. So who knows, when, when I get that sponsorship check, I might um, invest in some overpriced tools that I don't need. Because I like, look, ooh, we're going a bit thin there now. That could be a problem. Oh no. Well, what can we do? I suppose we can do this. Yeah, they're, they're timber frame houses as well. Should they have timber framed um, temples going back from the 1200s, so what, 800 years old, and they're still standing through earthquakes and whatever else nature threw at them, storms, tornadoes, whatever.
sorry, that's um a pretty poor peg, I won't lie, but um it'll have to do. I only need to make six of them, but I'll make a few more and um, see how we get on then. We'll have a bit of a selection then on the day. It's good to taper them down at the start just so um, it's easier for them to kind of be driven in at the start, you know. Yeah, they have earthquake resistant um, designs, which is, yeah, it's insane for the time. Considering for a lot of humanity, if um, buildings were so kind of poorly and cheaply constructed that, um, yeah, we just build them up again when they get knocked down. It's no big deal. the next one. Right. Bit of a shorter plank this time now. I'm gonna do this one and then I'd say I'm gonna pack it up because they're taking so much longer when I go live. But uh, uh, no, it's good to go live as well. I do enjoy the live streaming. seems a bit more rotted than the rest of them. I'd say it could be a bit more brittle. But I'm going to use it anyway. What do I do on my shavings? I'll um, clean out the garage tomorrow and all of these will be burnt, I'd say, is what I'll do with all the shavings. hard piece of oak to work yeah I think I might just give up on this one it's um it's nearly too dry hmm but you know what I've, I've gone this far I'll give it another chance What am I making? Uh, a few pegs to uh, join the timber frame together. I um, I said I was finished it in a recent video, but um, we were actually six pegs shy. But um, we can't finish it for another few weeks, so I just said I'd um, find this place where the six pegs were least important, like the, 
the thing will be grand now, but um, it should have the pegs, so we're gonna go finish it properly. But um, I also really wanted to get the video out because it had been in the work for months or weeks even. Um, so yeah, that's why um, I'm just working on a few pegs now. I think at some point I'm gonna have to, if I ever have to do this again, I might have to give up on my, um, what is it? Uh, being a hand tool purist and um, machine some of these, cause good Lord, these are taking me ages. There's a fella on Instagram and TikTok called Simon Bowler and he makes these fantastic um, green oak timber frame constructions in England. And his dowels look perfect. Um, oh, hello, Leos. Luz, um, thank you for joining the membership. Um, so far, I'm making a uh, hundred quid a month off that. So you guys are, are keeping me, keeping me tipping over because this is my job and I do appreciate it. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, he has these uh, perfectly round. Um, yeah, these dowels are just perfect. They look like pencils. Um, so I must, I must ask him where does he get them or does he make them himself or what? But um, apparently uh, having an uneven dowel um, is stronger, the same way having a hand cut uh, mortise and tenon is stronger than having a machine cut mortise and tenon. That's so I'm told, I'd say either way, that's good timber construction. So it'll, it'll be handy no matter what way you do. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I think at some point I probably will be forced to machine, but I don't have spaces for machine at the minute, but uh, I think I would like to get a, maybe a thickness or planer. That would save me a lot of time thicknessing and um, jointing boards together. Um, I do enjoy using hand planes, but like, there's a lot to be said for just feeding a true machine in a matter of minutes, instead of going hard out with a hand playing for ages but at the same time I think um, I think it is kind of nice to use use hand tools for some projects I think it is cool to be able to say yeah I built that using not but I'll go grease so we have a lot of American viewers tuning in I guess the morning is a good time for you is it I have made one wood, a wooden aeroplane for, a, not for a child, for an adult. Someone commissioned me to make their friend a, um, an aeroplane. I don't know if there are many members here in the, in the chat at the minute, but um, so far there's not a whole lot of perks. <laughs> For you guys so you're doing it out the goodness of your hearts but um i suppose i need to come up with a few ideas maybe a members only live stream now i think there are only about 20 odd members but um yeah i think a um i think it'll be kind of hard to find a, t a time that would suit everyone though but maybe a time that would suit most um you can email me if you're looking for a commission um but uh, it's very seldom I do it. I'm, I'm fairly caught for time these days. Um, but if, if it's something very interesting or lucrative, I'd probably turn my hand to it, all right. Feel like a brand new person. Oh, we have another oh, donation. Thank you. Did you leave any comment there? I must read it out if you did. Zach Rome. Thank you. I appreciate it.
this is not gonna be at all. It's, it's, it's very unusual grain back here. Oh, thank you, Caden Young, another member. I appreciate it, big time. I've ever injured myself a few times. Last year now I put a, an ax through my hand here, so I had a few stitches. And the other day I was using an electric planer, so maybe I had it coming. Uh, the hand tool gods were punishing me. And I uh, had my finger under the teeth of the plane, or the cutters of the plane when I turned it on. And I scooped the end of my finger off, but um, we live to tell the tale, so we're all right. I should have had gloves on or something, in fairness now, but um, I didn't, so. I have only myself to blame and my absent-mindedness. But sure, that's what power tools are, aren't, aren't they? Um, finger thieves for the absent-minded. No, someone say no gloves? As in they're given out to me for not wearing gloves or I should have had. But that's true, it could have grabbed, dragged my whole hand in. That's a good point, yeah. We're better off without the gloves then. We are from Ireland here. Uh, yeah, the jaws are a bit rounded, otherwise you get a horrible imprint into the piece you're working on. Yeah, when you switch the power tools, I'll definitely update my uh, safety protocols as right. Right, I think uh, we'll actually finish this one on this stream, and then I'll let you go. It's three degrees in Canada. I think, I hope Ireland is done with its, um, we had a very bad cold there a while back. Um, and I fucking hate working in the cold. It's just miserable. All your hand tools are cold to the touch. Um, it's just not nice. Um, your feet are numb because you're stepping on concrete all the time. Yeah, I just don't like the cold. If you scroll back a few videos, you'll see, um, condensation every time or whatever in the air every time I speak my god I'm sure I had a better spoke shave somewhere one time, wherever I'm after putting it. The last time I was on site with these pegs, they were slightly too big, so we drilled a wider hole into a scrap piece of wood, a big heavy beam actually, so it wasn't going anywhere. Stuck one end into it, and then we kind of used that to thin them down a bit. Where are you off to? What? Are you off somewhere? No. I'm live by the way. Just running around here, that's all. Huh? Just running around here. Yeah, I still feel a bit sick in the stomach. You want to eat before five, so? Huh? You want to eat before five? I had breakfast like an hour ago. <laughs> Wait, what time is it now? About three. Christ, is it? Twenty past three? God, where'd all the time go, huh? Okay, yeah. Huh? 
do you? Did you watch 8 Mile? Yeah, the entire thing? Yeah. Christ. Breakfast at 2pm, yeah. Pretty bad, I know. Um, I was out of the 21st last night. Um, so, I was late going to bed. Um, I was also fairly unwell yesterday. I, I, I've been sick in the stomach for a few days, so... Um, I got up this morning and I uh, skipped breakfast, which I know is really bad for you, but I just uh, I just felt very sick. Um, and instead I drove down to um, the shed I'm trying to rent to um, to get uh, to get this thing I'm sitting on right now, actually. And while I was there, I met my, the fella that owns the land and um, he let me drive the vintage tractor. So a productive morning, but um, yeah, I didn't get home till about two o'clock then. So I kind of had a brunch, do you know? Hey, I think for the first time ever on a live stream, I've had more likes than viewers. Hey, Luce. Lucy only comes on screen when, um, when our like count surpasses our view count, don't you, Luce? With your waggly tail. Come here so they can see you. No. She doesn't want to step onto all the shavings, you see. Wait, look. Come here. Come here. No. And she's after picking up a scrap piece of wood and she's uh, she's running off with it now. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying the channel. That's what it's there for, I hope. fairly okay up there but it's back here now we have a problem if it gets far too thick far too fast water or spaghetti it depends are you hungry or thirsty you're back again what was wrong with the last piece you had are you going to venture a bit further this time come on good guy no. no, you don't like any of your paws covered in sawdust, do you? Oh, you, you like that piece? You know a different piece? Fine, I'll show you to the camera. There she is now. How long have I been doing this for? I built a boat um, one or two summers ago. Yeah, last summer, I suppose. Uh, but I've only started this con content creation then, maybe about this time last year, so a year. Um, I don't, I'm not really into motorcycles or cars. Um, I do a lot, I watch a lot of videos of steam engines and stuff like that, but um, maybe someday when I have uh, space and money, I'll, um, I'll get myself a machine to tinker away with. All right, Luce. Right, well, this thing has entirely clogged up on me somehow. Right, so it's not the iron is the problem. So what is, there's like a resin or something stuck on the, um, the sole here. So we'll do an old cleaning of it there. Yeah, that came off easy enough. No wonder these soles get worn away so quickly. Yeah, it's only wood. 
I need to learn how to replace these things, but you know what? I buy them so frequently and for so cheap that it's hardly worth my while. And there she is, working like a Swiss watch once more. Thank you uh, for the comment, Blair Siv Sivraha uh, Jr. I'm very bad at pronunciation. Uh, what should I look for when hunting uh, for an older wooden spoke shave? Um, basically, see this, um, this part in front of the blade here? That can get worn out fairly quickly just because it's constantly being rubbed against other pieces of wood. It's not so much a problem with cast iron spoke shaves, but with the wooden ones it is. Um, so if it's too worn, it can be a bit worn and it'll work great, but if it's really worn, it, it'd probably be a difficult enough spoke shape to use and you might only get a few uses out of it. Um, so look out for that. Um, and yeah, just make sure it has its iron in it. Some of them don't have that and they're useless without it. You, have, you often see them in car boot sales and stuff like that. I think in America, uh, metal spoke shaves are especially more common though. And superior in many ways, but inferior in some. If you're just starting off, I think the best thing you can do is buy a metal one. And it'll probably last your lifetime. Buy a decent one for... Even the Stanley ones today are not too bad. Now, I think, I think, I'm, I think this one might be a bit too skinny. Might have to put her in the rejection pile. Said no modeling agency ever. It's a shame, we work so hard on her. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, no, that's, that's too skinny. Ah oh, well. We have a load of oak anyway to work with, so there's no problem that way. But um, I think, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and call it a day. Um, I'll answer one or two questions there now while I stretch out my back and um, get ready to head off. If only I got a Stanley sponsorship. I think I've uh, chatted too much shit about um, their newer hand planes um, to get a sponsorship. I'd, I'd say a lot of good things about their recent low angle ones and their high quality planes, but um, I, I don't have one. Uh, but yeah, maybe that'd be an interesting one to to work on. I use the they make good knives, the Stanley knives.
Uh, I don't speak Irish very well at all, but it, it's it's something I'd like to learn. Maybe in a few years, but someday. Please make a clothing brand. Carpen Carpenter's Irish Clothwear. Maybe. I always thought that if I could um, make barrels, I could um, let whiskey age in them and then sell my own brand of whiskey. But um, yeah, clothes, interesting idea. You'd buy clothes. Well, you've already... Um, become a member so that, that's uh, it's, uh, it's enough for the minute but thank you for the support all right lads um thanks for joining thanks for the likes and um big thanks to the two new members who joined us and um the two donations we received um hope you enjoyed watching me make pegs and i'll um i'll see you in the next one good luck